So here's the Xbox that I'm selling. It's a uh, 120 gig Xbox 360 Elite. Comes with three controllers, three charge ports, or like three play and charge cables. You plug it up and you can use the controller while it's charging. It plays retail games um, as well as backups. It's not banned from Xbox Live, so you can still play online. You can see I'm signed into Xbox Live right now. There's Pure. And... It just works like normal, as you would expect. You can update it. Comes with a wireless network adapter, so you don't have to worry about running a cord to get on Xbox Live. You update everything like normal. So you can see that I'm I'm signing into Live. And that's with a uh, a retail game. It's pure. Uh, it's the only retail game that I have, but. Here's a burned copy. Um, everything's on dual layer verbatim discs, which are um, which are the best discs to use for Xbox 360. And the 360 just does not know the difference between a burned game and a retail game. And like I said, Xbox Live still still works. It's not banned. It's never been banned. I've been playing burned games for years, and uh, here it goes. You saw me put in the burn game, I'll launch this. Just like that. This also needs an update, I haven't played in a while. Go ahead and download. This part's kind of boring, but while that's updating, we can look at the games. Of course, I've got this one retail disc, Pure. I have a binder full of games. Sonic and Stega, All-Stars Racing, Two Human, Fallout, New Vegas, Halo 3, Call of Duty 3, Sniper Elite, UFC, Grand Theft Auto 5, the install disc, Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare, Bully, Grand Theft Auto 4, Bulletstorm, Dragon Age, Skate 2, Band Hero, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Battlefield Bad Company, Dark Sector, Fight Night, Red Dead Redemption, The First, LA, Noir, Splinter Cell Conviction, Battlefield 3, Guitar Hero 6, Connectimals, uh, I don't have the Connect anymore, I got rid of it, I didn't like it, Battlefield 4, Gears of War 3, um, Mass Effect 3, Mass Effect 2. Oh, it's done. Updating. You should see the Rockstar logo. Grand Theft Auto 5. And everything plays just like you would expect it to. Um, these are direct copies from discs that were that were created for the Xbox 360. They're one to one copy. They're it's not like a bootleg movie where the quality is crap. This is exactly the same playing experience that you would expect on any other console. And that's Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, there's a ton of games here. I've been I've been playing 360 for a long time. I've been burning games for several years now, and uh, I just don't play it anymore. I mean, there's a lot of time and money invested in these discs. The the blank DVDs, they're dual layer. Uh, they're about 30 to 
fifty dollars, depending on where you can find them. If you can find them in a store, I think Best Buy is the only person that sells them. Uh, Bioshock, Split Second, Blur, Dead Rising, Mafia, Left for Dead, Call of Duty Ghosts, uh, Black Ops, Rainbow Six Vegas, Prototype, Prototype 2, um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, let's try that one out. There you go. Just like, uh, just like you would expect. No red ring, nothing crazy. 360 just going strong like a champ. Here we go. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Couple more games. Madden 25, Civilization, Skate 3, Rayman, Dead Island, what's that? Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit, Juiced, Dragon Ball Z, Lost Planet, Tomb Raider, Battlefield, Resident Evil 5, Prince of Persia. Grand Theft Auto 4, the expansion pack, the other stories. Need for Speed, Crisis 2, Singularity, Call of Duty 4, that's old school. Oh, that's it. That's all I got. That's a ton of games, and everything works. Okay, I guess this is the install disc. I should have grabbed the, the other one. Anyway, it's 120 gigs, so there's tons of space. It's for sale. Um, let me know what you think. Later.